It's amazing to me how many people that we get in here that see our cars online come in from Chicago, Detroit, South Bend, Fort Wayne, Grand Rapids, and they are just amazed that dealerships like us still exist. We view our customers as friends. They know that they can count on us. Jake Millenman, quarterback, and D end. Jalen Brown, tight end. Goal for us, just like last year, is playoffs. Uh, ironically, I was on the first team ever for Centerville to go to playoffs in 2001, and it's been a real, for me, it's been a, a, something I look back at because when I see this team that grew up together and they played from Rocket Up, that's what we had. And that's what has been kind of missing in this gap between the last playoff appearance and now is kids that have stuck with it all the way through, whether it's been tough or not, and moved all the way up through the system, and now they're comfortable together. And we have that, they have it. And I know that it's that same chemistry that can make us successful this year. Well, Jalen Brown is a tight end. He's a pretty athletic kid, pretty strong. Also pretty fast, so you know, he's been a pretty key player this year. Some of our strengths would be speed. Our team has a lot of speed on both sides of the ball. I've never seen or had so much speed and hitting power on, on one team. We've got 13 seniors this year. That's huge change. You know, my first year we had, I think, five and then three and then five. You know, so having that depth of leadership, um, that depth of experience that have been in the system for that long, and all of my seniors have been with me since junior high. I think Dylan T is going to surprise us a whole lot this year. I'm Anthony Ruth, as we all know, he's, he's a big kid, fast kid, and uh, pretty hard to take down. We have a very balanced offense this year. Anthony Ruth and Dustin Spencer in the backfield are going to give us a great one-two punch at tailback and fullback. And Jake Milliman's arm is, is awesome. He had a couple 200-yard passing games last year. Um, this summer in 7-on-7, seven seven, we saw that he had matured to an even greater level than we thought. Last year was only his first year ever playing quarterback and he threw really well, but this summer he said, boy, it seemed so complicated last year, but this year I'm just seeing the holes. You know, he's throwing the holes. He's not throwing to where people are. Um, he's reading safeties, he's reading uh, cornerbacks, and we've even had our receivers running read routes, um, not really giving them a specific route, but they have a couple options to shuffle through based on where the defense is, so the defense just can't be in the right place. You know, they can do a little self-choosing. Every year it's the same game, it's the Menden game. It's the one we want the most and it's the one we work for the most. You know, they're a small school like we are. They generally have numbers that are, uh, and this year's another example, lower than us. Um, we just have to get kids that come out and, and are not afraid to come out and hit, you know. And that, again, comes back to that arena mentality. And last year, yeah, we were shocked. You know, it started off a little shaky and that old feeling tried to come back in. And I called a timeout and I pulled them over and I said, listen guys, we're not doing this. This is not the same Centerville, so you better go stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Um, and I actually yelled, you know, I said, I need a David right now, you know, just kind of referring to a biblical David and Goliath story. I need a David, just somebody to step up and just have the guts to go out and hit, and it started rocking. Uh, they're a fast team. Um, pretty sure they're going to pass a lot. The kids got a good arm. A lot of speed. I keep reminding my kids, I said, there was a reason Colin left, left the SJV, and we're going to come back with the old SJV hitting power and we're gonna to try to set the tone early.